Dr. Volio here from Innovative Pain and Performance. Uh, I'm gonna go over a few variations of the of the wall sit. Um, most people know the wall sit. It's basically an isometric exercise for your legs. Um, I like to use this for recovery for knee injuries or hip injuries or even back injuries. Uh, it's a pretty stable exercise because uh, you're pressing your body up against the wall. Uh, it's a good stepping stone uh, exercise to go into more like a, into a bridge track or dead bug or your quadruped bird dog exercises. Um, these are kind of your standard PT physical therapy uh, exercises. So uh, what we're trying to look for with the uh, wall sit is obviously good form, good technique, and improving that overall postural uh, stability, okay? So, simple thing, uh, different variations that we can, can that can be done. Uh, one thing that I'm gonna kind of mention here before we get into the actual wall sit is uh, practicing the hip hinge. Uh, that's one thing that you can do as far as you're up against the wall and take a little step out and you're just practicing hinging from your hip. You take another little step out and pushing your butt back. Okay, so that is a good way to train yourself keeping the back flat and moving from the hips. So this shoulder to my hip is one straight line. Um, I do bend from the knees kind of in a good athletic position as I go down, um, but my back stays straight. Okay, so that's another good way to practice the hip hinge. Now, going into the wall sit, basically, you know, you wanna have shoes on or be in on carpet or something, you don't wanna slide. Obviously, that will make things harder and you don't wanna fall down. Um, if, if joints are a problem, so like say your knees hurt or um, hip hurts or something else hurts, we have to start kind of more in an upright position. Uh, we want to use the wall to kind of work on our posture, bringing the head in. A lot of people um, bring the shoulders up, so we want to bring the shoulders down. We want to bring the head in, not tipped back. This is not good posture, so if you're looking up at the ceiling, you're doing it wrong. Uh, if you're looking straight ahead, then you're doing it right. Uh, but we don't want to leave the head out here. Uh, in this forward position because that's what everyone does and that's why we have all these neck, upper back, headache um, issues as well. So yes, this is a lower back, um, sorry, um, kind of glute leg exercise, but you might as well train the entire system while we're at it. So head in good position, shoulders down, squeezing with the lats. You know, my big, my big three muscles, glutes, core, lats so lats core butt and now i'm squeezing okay and we're gonna hold you know depending on your level of ability maybe we're holding for five seconds maybe we're holding for eight seconds maybe we're holding for 10 seconds maybe we're holding it for a minute um but we want to have a good contraction um it's you want to you don't want to let the knees buckle in so i'm going to go from this view you don't want the knees to buckle in. You want to kind of kind of open up the pelvis, the hips. You kind of want knees out in a way, but your knees should be over your ankles, okay? There's never a point where, where your knees are over your toes, okay? That's bad. That's going to hurt your knees. That's not good form. So you want the legs out. Ideally, you want the shin bone to be in a um, vertical straight plane, okay? So we're not bending forward like this with this gap here, but pelvis back pressed up against the wall, and then we're squeezing the leg. It's an isometric contraction. Isometric meaning um, you're contracting the muscles to their fullest, but they're not moving you anywhere, okay? So isometric contraction. Now, as you go deeper, into the squat, if you are getting better and better and you can get lower and lower, that's ideal, 
still within a good range. Um, I kind of just set my palms up or you can do your kind of um, palms um, or back of the hands uh, to the wall. Uh, in this position, you can kind of, I've talked about the cactus where we can kind of come up into this range. So you can get a lot done for your posture and your leg strength in a wall sit, okay? So that's the wall sit in its variations, starting from kind of a higher position and are working our way down and you do it for time. So whether it's 10 seconds and you do three to five sets or if you do it for a minute, and maybe you do two sets, um, but generally we're trying to increase time and increase reps as you are developing the strength within the legs and specifically core as well. Don't just hang out, make sure we're squeezing all of our muscles, the lats, the core, the butt, and then making sure everything is in the proper alignment. When we're recovering from an injury or we're trying to improve a, a bad mechanic, um, you have to be really diligent on doing these properly um, because you have to retrain yourself. You're, you're creating a new uh, motor pattern and it takes 3,000 repetitions to learn a new motor pattern it takes 300 to go back to an old one. So staying consistent uh, and being diligent on your technique is gonna help you the most, okay? If you have any questions, let me know. But as always, move better.